In this video, we'll write the formula for diphosphorus trioxide. So the first thing we'll note is we have these prefixes, di and tri. That means we have a molecular compound. So what we'll do is we'll write phosphorus, the element symbol for phosphorus, that's P, and then oxide, that's from oxygen, we'll write O. The di, that tells us we have two phosphorus atoms, P2, that's the diphosphorus, and then tri for the oxide, tri means we have three oxygen atoms. That makes the formula for diphosphorus trioxide P2O3. If you were given this formula P2O3 and asked to write the name for diphosphorus trioxide, you need to recognize that you have phosphorus and oxygen. They're both nonmetals. Then you'd use these prefixes for the two and the three to give you the formula diphosphorus trioxide. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.